Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the speed test between the Galaxy S9 Plus of 2018 versus the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G of 2020. So guys, two years of gap, that means the Exynos 98 runs around the Galaxy S9 Plus versus the Exynos 990 on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Let's see how well the Galaxy S9 Plus will uh, compete against the latest Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Let's start with the boot test on both in 3, 2, 1 and go. Both are at logos. Galaxy S9 Plus versus Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Let's see. Which one do you think guys which will win? Obviously as you tell that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G because it was the latest device. Let's see. Yes, and the one, two, yeah, just two seconds delay on the Galaxy S9 Plus. That was a two year old flagship, so that's the Galaxy S9 Plus still the beast. Nice one, but uh, as we say, the win, then obviously the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But the two year old Galaxy S9 Plus perfectly works fine, just, just two seconds delay. Let's move on. So guys, now it's time for the security. So this guy have the intelligence scan, which uses the face recognition along with the iris scan. And this guy only have the face recognition. Let's see which one sees first. Only the Samsung has just the logo of the lock screen. It won't directly go to the lock screen. So just quickly in three, two, one and go. That was almost identical. Nice performance from both, I would say. Uh, that was pretty much the same on both. Then obviously going to a speed test. Yeah. So, le so let's begin from the settings itself in three, two, one, go. Oh, clear win for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Clock. Again, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Then calendar. Note 20 Ultra. Then game launcher in 3, 2, 1, go. Again, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. So guys, by mistake, actually I opened another application, yeah. Now then, so after that, Twitter in 3, 2, 1, go. Guys, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G faster. Then maps in 3, 2, 1, go. Again, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G faster. Then YouTube in 3, 2, 1, go. Loading, yeah. Now 20 Ultra 5G faster. Then Play Store in 3, 2, 1, go. Obviously the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G faster. Then going to some basic games. Starting from the Slap Kings on both in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see. Yeah guys, it's done. Oh. Let's leave on both over here. Then the second is Score Hero on both in 3, 2, 1, go. Oof, too fast. I didn't see even the logo of on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Oof, guys, incredibly fast. Then next would be the slap. Actually, uh, then scribble right around both. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, again, Note 20 Ultra in the loading screen, and yes, it's, it's done. Yeah, followed by the Galaxy S10 Plus. Then obviously the traffic rider, three, two, one, go. Ski games and uh, oof, it's done. Done guys. Actually, there is a huge leap in terms of performance in the normal games itself. It means normal apps instead itself. I would say then the football strike in three, two, one, go. Yeah, loading on both. It's taking time on both. I think maybe it's due to some network issues and all. Uh, it's both taking. Let's skip that game for uh, now and let's close that football strike on both. And now let's take the last game. That's the badminton league. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so actually I will just also close that game too due to some 
stream a on board and some mismatch happens so closed on both and now let's open the camera really quick on both in three two one go s not twenty ultra faster then opening the chrome on both in three two one go so galaxy note 20 ultra faster again so guys now for the ram management 6 gb versus twice the ram so starting from the settings in 3 2 1 go i think uh refresh or not i didn't see then the clock i think was a refresh then calendar yeah it's on memory it's memory twitter it's on memory on both maps oh maps was a refresh on the galaxy s9 plus sorry then youtube yeah youtube on both play store play store was a refresh on galaxy s9 plus then going to the games opening from the slap kings three two one go whether it stays in memory or not three two one go oh that was a refresh for the galaxy s9 plus then again going to the score hero in three two one go wow score hero is memory nice job for the galaxy s9 plus then scribble right on both in three two one go wow that's on memory on both nice then so it's all over then last at last the traffic rider on both in three two one go yeah guys so perfect actually some apps uh i don't think it was due to the ram issues and all uh some apps due to some optimization and all uh, the galaxy s9 plus couldn't handle every application but the galaxy note 20 ultra with its uh, 12 gb of ram handles everything i don't think it was a matter of uh, uh, the memory it was something due to something uh some software issues and all maybe but actually it was almost perfectly fine actually some apps are almost four or five apps have been closed uh, due to the guy in the galaxy s9 plus oh, but almost every apps is open in the galaxy Note 20 ultra that's always expected from the latest flagship and all so that was uh so every apps is over here and uh, once again let me open some apps so it's over here then uh, opening the traffic racer not another one uh the scroll hero yeah both are here then opening the scribble rider as yes, both are here then opening the traffic rider as yes, both are here Oof. so now guys everything now let's open the last at the last slap kings also let's see yeah now it's everything now it's kept everything in the background so at the first time it was not loading uh, then play store yeah play store was again a refresh then let's quickly go to the twitter twitter 321 twitter yeah twitter is now still there now game launcher yeah now everything almost every apps, apps except the play store was now on the memory uh, now opening the play store once again that is yeah let's leave it guys so actually nice performance from even the galaxy s9 plus some apps uh, very minor some apps uh, didn't seem to open on the galaxy s9 plus uh, but actually everything opened on the galaxy note 20 ultra 5g so guys and uh, when i compare with the speed test i feel that actually there was a significant gap on opening apps opening and uh, the fast response on the galaxy note 20 ultra versus the galaxy s10 plus was a tiny second delay for the galaxy s10 plus was that was obviously expected from the two-year-old flagship but still if you compete with the galaxy note 20 ultra still it performs a nice leap actually the ram management is all were almost perfect some apps due to some network issues or something like that some apps actually i would say now that's at the second lap almost everything just one apps was uh missing uh, except everything was running perfectly fine so that was the speed test between the galaxy s10 plus versus the galaxy note 20 ultra so guys thank you stay tuned and subscribed